This is a special video showing how you can take my card projects and turn them into actual printed cards. What I've done is I've put together several templates at 4x6 and 5x7 and I have horizontal and vertical copies of each of those. You can then use those to create cards. This is the 4x6 card right here. Now the templates are in two pieces. We have a, an outside page and an inside page. What you do is you set your card up the way you want. You then print the outside page first, then flip the paper end for end, and print the inside on the same piece of paper. That way this will be printed on the back side of that section right there, which is what you'll see when you open the card up. And again, I have vertical and horizontal versions on both of those, the 4x6 and the 5x7. Let's take a look at these. First off, the inside is really easy. This area in here on these guidelines, these of course will not be printed, but on the guidelines, that's the right place to put in your greeting. Simply replace this with whatever you want to have on the inside of the card. The spit down here just says inside of card, and that's on the out, you know, that's not going to be printed. This is part that's going to be cut off of the page. That's just going to be discarded. Okay, on the outside, let's just zoom in. I'll show you how this works. This is the main part of the card. Zoom in here we go. Now on this, we have the front of the card right here and the back of the card. The text on the back of the card is upside down, as you can see. So that when it's folded in half, that'll be red right side up. Now, I have this saying handcrafted by you know, George Pearson, by my name. Just click right here, and you can change that to whatever text you want to have it say on the back side. I also have my web addresses down here. You can leave that or take that off. It's up to you. There's no real reason to leave that on there unless you want a little bit of advertising for me, which would be nice, but again, not required. So there you go. Now what you do is you work on one of my card projects. This one is for the 4x6 card, which is most of my card projects are on 4x6, especially the ones that are in Photoshop elements. Ones in Photoshop tend to be in 5x7 as opposed to 4x6. So you grab the image. Now what I recommend doing is you do the project and get it just the way you want it, and then do a save as of your project and save it as a bitmap file. You can then easily place your bitmap file into this template. Let me show you how that's done. Go over here and let's open up. There's an Easter card. This is one of my 4x6 cards. This was done also in Photoshop Elements. Saved as a bitmap as you can see right there. Simply grab the image and drag it into this template. There we are. Close that down. And then take it and it'll just snap into place. You can see right there. I have guidelines set for snap. Notice drop in exactly to fit. If you want to have a border around that, just resize the image to give yourself a border. You can just you know grab it and drag it in, whatever you want to do. But it's designed for an exact fit for the 4x6. So that's all there is to it. Simply drag your picture on and there you go. Now this is the front of the card. That's the back of the card. And what you do is you fold the card in half right there. Now if I hide these guidelines, let me just hide the guides. There we go. You see that I have black lines on here to make it easy to see that when you go ahead to print this. So pretty straightforward. As you can see, just drop your picture on, change the text on the back of the card, flip it over, print the inside, and you're all set to go ahead and fold it. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Let me first show you one more thing over here. Let me bring up one of our 5x7s. I'll bring up the vertical 5x7 card. Here we go. There's a vertical card. And again, this is the 5x7 instead of the 4x6. Aside from that, it's exactly the same. We have our fold lines, top and bottom. Simply grab your picture and drop it in. It will snap. Let me bring the guides back up on this one. There you go. Just snap to the guidelines as long as they're showing. And you can change the text on the back of the card to make that fit. So there's a vertical card and there's the horizontal card. Okay, let me just show you how these cards work when you're ready to print these. Let's just bring up the little PDF file I have here. Now all the templates are contained along with this PDF file on the video support page. The link is in the description. 
and you can download that link downloads all the templates for you they're all in PSD file format which you can use in any program that can open up a PSD file and of course also Photoshop and Photoshop elements both open those just fine now what you do after you have laid out and printed your card let me just walk you through this quickly here pretty straightforward so you print the front side first print the back side so you flip this up you know, end to end print the back side so that gives you the two sides of your card I recommend using photo paper for this gives you the nicest look nice glossy look to that and it has a nice stiffness to it the only problem with photo paper is it tends to curl a little bit so I recommend letting it lay flat overnight until it dries out totally and then go ahead and finish the card off now to finish the card you're going to be using that line where that that center line is and take something hard like the back of a butter knife or something and a ruler and score right along that line once you have that scored you can then fold it in half and that gives you your fold once it's folded then simply cut away the gray part in here so you cut the bottom off cut the two sides off the reason why I say fold it first is that then your cuts are exactly even your front and your back will have an exact match if you try cutting it this way first and then folding it I guarantee the front and the back are not going to match exactly unless you're real lucky but if you do your fold first and then cut your front and your back will match perfectly so that's all it is cut off the gray parts and there's your finished card so again these will work with any program that can use the PSD file format of course that's Photoshop or Photoshop elements and I have horizontal and vertical versions for both 4x6 and 5x7 cards and you'll find all that stuff on the video support page and the link is in the description thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here you can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here and then thank you again for watching this 